In this video, I'm going to share with you a story from my own personal experience about how understanding the law has helped me to get out of a contract which I felt was a really unfair situation with a local gym. But first of all, welcome back. I'm the Black Belt Barrister, helping you to understand law and bringing you stories like this, which will help you in your own lives. You see, the reason I created this channel in the first place was because so many people wanted some sort of free guidance from me, which as much as I want to give, I just don't have the time to give it individually on a one-to-one -one basis. So I created this channel to help as many people as possible. So in this video, my own personal story will show you an example of just how you can use a little bit of understanding about how these contracts work to get yourself out of a situation that you might feel particularly unfair. So in this particular scenario, I was a member of a local gym. And as a martial artist, I have various different injuries and old injuries that come back to haunt me every now and again. In this instance, it was with my shoulder because my shoulder just started to flare up and become increasingly painful over a number of months. Quite obviously, I wasn't able to use the gym and not even able to swim because the movement of swimming was creating such a lot of pain that I just couldn't do any kind of exercise like that. And I had to just take some time off completely from exercise. So obviously I'd got appointments lined up to get my shoulder scanned. I ended up with a MRI scan and a CAT scan, X-ray, everything. And they couldn't really tell me anything other than it was bursitis caused by some kind of old injury. But bursitis is a form of extreme inflammation causing a lot of pain and aggravation, which would obviously stop me from using any kind of gym facilities. So I approached the front desk and explained all this and they were quite happy to suspend my membership for a much reduced fee for a few months. So several months later, my shoulder's still in pain. I've had an MRI scan, a CAT scan, an X-ray and various things. And what it confirmed is that I had this bursitis in the shoulder, which was extreme inflammation and it wasn't going away anytime soon. And if you want any tips on stretching and pain management, check out my sister channel, Black Belt Secrets, linked below. So being in such pain and with medical evidence in hand, I went back to the desk to cancel my membership entirely. At this point, they offered me a continued freeze of my membership, but for free because I had a medical reason to do so. And I thought this might be ideal because I might actually want to come back to the gym at some point in the future and I wouldn't have to pay a rejoining fee if I were able to suspend it for free until then. A few months later, I realized that these fees were still coming out of my account for the frozen membership, even though they weren't supposed to. So I got back in touch with the gym and asked for these fees back and asked to cancel the membership as I wanted to do in the first place. And this is when things got a little bit difficult because they said not only do I have to wait for this freeze period to end but then I would have to pay for a full three months notice from that point going forward at full price which is obviously going to be several hundred pounds that I didn't really want to pay. So surprisingly enough it was only at this point that I decided to look into the terms and conditions and actually found that they were very much more in my favour than the gym was trying to lead me to believe. Now as I've said in many videos terms have to be fair and if a term is deemed to be unfair then it's not going to be enforceable but this was even more straightforward than that because these terms were actually in my favour. Not only did it confirm that I was entitled to a free period of frozen membership because of my medical evidence but it also specified that by notifying the gym that I had this medical problem and by giving notice, my membership would end at the end of that month in which I gave notice, not waiting for the freeze period to end and then paying another three months in full on top of that. No, it was just ended by the following month. And even then there was more back and forth because the gym was asking for up-to-date medical evidence because by the time we got to that point in the conversation, this one was maybe a week before the three months period, but we'd been discussing it for that long. So I didn't really think that was fair at all. And of course my actual notice was within three months of the medical evidence so I was perfectly within their terms and conditions to cancel that membership at the end of that month without incurring any notice fees. And even when they accepted that they still tried for one month membership fees at the end of this period which I didn't really quite understand. So the long story short is I went through their terms and conditions, the terms and conditions were in my favour and I told them this is my medical evidence, I want to cancel my membership, you've got no way of informing forcing this contract against me because your own terms and conditions provide that the membership ends at the end of the month in which I give you notice or evidence that I have this medical condition. So whilst you guys watching may not want to look at your own terms and conditions, if you've got a situation that you're in and you want me to create a video about it, I can use it as an example, as guidance, and create another video to show you how these terms might well be in your favor as this one was here. But it also goes to show that a company that's being unreasonable in its application of its own terms and conditions, which might lead to someone like me or like you looking into the terms and conditions and actually holding them to account for exactly what they say. And in this case, they got no further fees from me 
and the membership came to an end. I said I will defend any claim in court if you bring a claim for these fees, but suffice to say I've heard nothing since. So I hope this video has proven to be useful for you. Don't forget to like it and share it with someone else that you think might be in this very position right now. And as always, thank you for watching.